Oh, hell. That's right. Here come the cops. He's admitting it. Come in. I admire an honest man. Drink? Or is it too early? Still at 2 o'clock. Name it. Oh, I'd rather keep a clear head when I'm working. OK, keep a clear head. I'll have one, though, if you don't mind. I find Sundays very boring. After I've read Jeffrey Levin in the comics, there's nothing exciting left to do. Who was Jeffrey Levin? Arthur. Yes? That is what you call yourself, isn't it? Uh-huh. Why are you wearing those clothes? I'm a cop working undercover. You sure you're not a mental patient? I'm pretty sure. Because yesterday you said you were an insurance investigator. Well, that was for your benefit. Today I had to visit the sister-in-law of a dead mob boss, Tony the Nose Bonamico. Did he have a big nose? Uh, yes, he did. He also had a girlfriend named Jerry Ferguson. Arthur? Yes? That's a nasty looking bump on your head. Ah, uh, yes it is. Does it hurt? A bit. It's awful looking. Sit down. Uh, what for? I'm gonna make you feel better. Ma'am, I don't think you That's realize. right, don't think. Sit there, stretch out your legs, relax, close your eyes. Miss Ferguson. Jerry. Jerry, someone was murdered last night. Who? That man that kept visiting your gallery said his name was Al Reinhardt, and then he said he was Al Randolph. What was his real name? Mo Weinberg. Mean anything to you? No. What's your real name? Lieutenant Colombo. Your first name? Lieutenant. You're putting me on. On Wednesday. How two did men, we get back I to took Wednesday? Us back there. On Wednesday night. Two men killed each other in a brawl. Who? That's not important. What is important is one of them had a piece of a photograph in his hand. Are we going to start that again? I already told you. We have reason to believe that the fragment in the dead man's hand was part of a larger picture showing the location of $4 million stolen from a bank six years ago. We also have good reason to believe that you have another piece of that picture, and we want it. It's as simple as that. What smoked you out, Arthur? What made you drop the phony cover? You afraid somebody else might get killed? It's possible, yes. Me? Possibly. Whoever has a piece of that picture's in danger. For your own safety. Bullshit. I beg your pardon. The day the cops start worrying about anybody's safety is the day. I think we better head downtown. You want to get dressed? No, I don't. What'll the charge be? Drinking in my pajamas? Miss Ferguson, I'm conducting a murder investigation. I have a Okay, right okay, to... okay. Stop spouting legalities. Sit down. I'd rather talk here than in some stuffy old squad room. Do you have a piece of the photograph? Yes. Where'd you get it? My brother-in-law gave it to me. Louis de Moray. Yes. When? Just before the holdup. What did he say about it? Only that I should hold on to it. Why did he give it to you and not your sister? My sister's a ditz. Always was. Lou knew who the smart one was. Did he give you the list, too? What list? The list of names. I don't know anything about a list of names. That's a lie, Jerry. I've never seen it. You're lying, Jerry. We know your partner has half of the list. Where did he get it? I don't know anything about a list. What's it supposed to be? Forget it. Where's your piece of the snapshot? In the gallery safe. Will you turn it over to me? No. I thought you said I said that I'd you... answer your questions. OK, I've done that. But the piece of photograph is my private property, and I'll do with it what I wish. Thank you for your time. So where are you going? I'm going to try and find a person that murdered Mo Weinberg. Well, be careful. Lots of people with guns out there. I'll be seeing you again. Sunday afternoons. Any other time, I'm busy. Just one more thing. 